Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Uh, hopefully everyone is having a nice Thanksgiving weekend for those of you that live in the United States of America. And uh, I wish you all a happy Thanksgiving and uh, stay safe out there and enjoy the video games or whatever it is that you enjoy. <laughs> I'm not really good at wishing people this and that. Just have a freaking great holiday, will you? Is that too much to ask? And don't be a dick, will you? Okay, so here we go. This video is going to be about me showing you my TV settings. And now before some of you trolls go down to the comment section and start pounding their freaking keyboard like there's no tomorrow, just remember, this is not calibration. Okay, I didn't calibrate anything. I just used my own likeness preference okay my own preference so let me show you my tv settings really quick and then i'm gonna go through nba 2k17 which is running on native 4k it has no hdr my tv doesn't support hdr okay it's an old version 2015 only new versions support it and i don't have the money right now to buy the new version that's gonna have to wait till whenever the hell i buy it i don't know when that's gonna be all right because uh I'm not going to bore you to death with my financial situation. Okay. So, let's do this. Let me show you my TV settings. And remember, it's M55C2 Vizio 2015 version. All right. So, first thing I did here, forget about the picture mode that says game. That has nothing to do with anything. Okay. That's just something I use as a preference. All right. Everything you see down here, it's my own custom uh, regulated settings. Okay, backlight, I left it at 80 because I already got my brightness control off, so I left it at 80. Brightness, I left it at 35 because I like my uh, levels, my black levels to be dark and deep. And then contrast... I leave it at 50 always. Color, you can go to 70, but for this particular game, I left it at 60. And sharpness, I left it at 50. Now, here's the trick. Since I already got my sharpness to the 50, and I already got my brightness 35, here is where another thing comes through, the temperature. Make sure that you use the color temperature normal, okay? If you go to a cool or warm, it's going to look crappy. Normal is the best way to go. Black detail, I'll leave it at medium because I already got my brightness to 35 and I already got my gamma to 2.4. So my blacks are very deep. So I don't need to go any more deeper than that. I know you guys are going to make some racial joke about this anyway, but I don't give a shit. You know, no matter what I say, you guys are going to take it out of context. <laughs> All right, so clear action, I leave that off. Game low latency, I'll leave that on. Okay at all times because that's what you want in a game when you're playing the games gamma you want to keep it 2.4 the reason why my tv looks uh kind of like some of you get fooled thinking oh it's hdr it's not hdr it's just that my tv has a couple of things it has a very low gamma which keeps the these blacks are very deep you know and I know another racial joke is going to be coming out. I know. You guys are going to pound that fucking keyboard. I already know it. Anyway. And uh, this video is turning very funny. So it's 2.4. All right. So my gamma is 2.4. And my filters. Here's another thing. The filters. Some of them I turn them off. Okay. Reduce block noise. I left it at high. The reason I left the reduce block noise at high. Because I already have my sharpness to 50. So... It's good for me to leave it at high to keep it balanced. All right, so there it is, guys. That's my TV settings. Hopefully you paused it, and if you didn't, go back through it again and pause it again. Now we're going to go through this game, NBA 2K17, running on PlayStation 4 Pro in a native 4K resolution. Yes, it's running in native 4K resolution. Yes, PlayStation 4 Pro can and is doing a native 4k resolution okay 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 good good and you got a long way to go till freaking november okay till you got your scorpio 
So chill the hell out. And if you can't afford a freaking PlayStation 4 Pro, and then you can't wait till freaking Scorpio, give me a break, man. Then you shouldn't even be watching this video. You shouldn't even be able to have access to internet, man. Unless you're sitting next to a Starbucks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. If you're broke, just say I'm fucking broke. I'm poor. I have no fucking money. It's okay. I admit it many fucking times where I say I have no fucking money. And I'm doing this because I need the money a little bit. I'm being honest. I don't give a shit if people like it or not. I'm going to tell you the way, I, the way it is. That's the way I am. I don't try to pretend that I'm something I'm not. All right? So here we go. Let's play through this game. Let's see how it looks. Okay, it's Miami Heat versus Lakers. As you can see, it looks very, very nice. And now you're going to say, oh, man, maybe you have HDR. No, I don't have HDR. It's just that my TV has full array of LEDs, okay, which helps across the diagonal panel 55 inch and then that low gamma which I just showed you 2.4 that helps oh great violation great five second value value violation five second violation boy this video is turning into a real disaster tremendous tremendous disaster oh come on dude there you go. Come on. Come on. Waiters, let's go. Pass it. Pass it. Come on, Wills. Win. What? Foul? By Mozgov? Mozgov. How could you give such a foul like that, man? But you can see clearly, you know, when you look at this uh, video, you see how everything's detailed and clear. There's barely any, like, brightness that overlaps the uh, gamma. See how deep and dark the gamma is on my TV? That's because... That's because, guys, I know how to adjust my TV. Alright? You see, when I told you that black noise reduction, I left it to high. You know why I left that black noise reduction to high? Because I already have my sharpness to 50. If I was to turn that noise reduction blocking all off, guess what? then the picture would look so sharp. It would be out of place. It would be jaggy and everything. You got to balance things out, out, and you got to know how to do this, guys. It's okay. I know some of you don't know how to do this properly, how to adjust your TV properly. I mean, I've been doing this for a long freaking time, man. I know how to adjust my TV, and that's why it looks so fucking good on this cheap-ass uh, $800 TV that some of you call a Walmart TV. That's why it looks so good. Oh, this is bad, man. This is bad. Come on, man. Come on, guys. Let's do this. Don't you dare miss this one. Come on. How could you be a, such a dick and, and miss that? Oh, my God. Miami Heat, you're sucking big time now. Come on. This is getting ridiculous. It's 4-4. Come on now. Let's make it... Uh, Let's make it, let's, let's lead. Come on, man, this is your chance. There you go. 6-4, come on now, there you go. Come on. But anyway, the whole point of this video is for me to show you that you don't necessarily have to have high dynamic range to truly enjoy your 4K TV. Even without high dynamic range, you can enjoy your TV, but you just have to know how to adjust the settings on your TV. And of course, you have to look and see what your TV is made of. Mine has that full array of LEDs, which helps these colors pop out. All right. You ever seen a cop car when it pulls you over and those LED lights start coming out? You see how vibrant they are? That's a full array of LEDs. This fucking thing has a full array of LEDs, 55 inch. All right. And it also has a very good gamma, 2.4, and then it has a very high contrast ratio. Now, granted, high dynamic range would definitely make this game look even, even more icing on the fucking cake. But even if I had a high dynamic range, you guys would not be able to see it. All right, so that's it. That's the, uh, the end of this uh, half-assed video. Make sure you hit that dislike.